Barbers traditionally use a lot of metal tools. They use clippers, they use razors, they use it on the skin, on men and women, and they are very, very proficient at sanitizing, cleaning, and disinfecting. The disinfecting part is the tenement process where they, after they cleaned their tool, get all the hairs off of the, the clipper, they will soak that clipper or that scissor or that razor in a disinfectant for 10 minutes. There's a thing called kill time. And if you don't follow that kill time, you have not properly disinfected. And barbers traditionally do this well. So the hair salon industry is going to get better at it. Just you watch. When you go into a hair salon, I am sure your spa member that lays you out on a, on a massage table or a facial chair, let's say the truth about disinfectants. You cannot really disinfect something that is porous, like a soft, pliable, leather-like surface or a plasticized surface. Since it's plastic, we can only clean it, clean it, clean it very well. And you can add an extra barrier if you like. That's why there's usually sheets or towels that are washed so you don't come in contact with the soft surface. Hand sanitizers are great when you're out shopping, when you are out picking things off the shelf, put them in carts and put them in your car, sanitize, then you hit your steering wheel and go home and take home your Costco stuff. And washing your hands is the most important thing to do the sudsing up of that um, soap product that gets rid of viruses and bacteria on your hand, the bad bacteria is off of your hand, but you're not hurting your hands. Somebody said to me, well, you know, hair keeps the coronavirus on it for like 20 days. There is no proven thing or statistics right now that show that hair carries the coronavirus on it for any amount of days. But it is hair, so it's on the floor. We should be sweeping it up, putting it in trash cans right away, and making sure it's not flying around the room. Because that is not good anyway. So just do it. If you see a lot of hair on the floor at your salon, they're just not keeping up with their sanitation rules anyway. A good thing for salons and spas to do right now, and I think it would make the customer feel great, is to put those sanitized and disinfected signs on the shampoo bowls. Clean the, the shampoo bowl, then they sanitize it, let it sit for 10 minutes, now it's ready for the next person. That sign can go right on it. It will make the customer feel better. Mm, gloves. Gloves are great, but they're just like hands. What is on the outside of them, you still have to wash off. But gloves, you should really think of as just hands. It's just extra hands on top of hands. Customers come in when they are sick. And that is a danger for the hairdresser because they will have an important meeting coming up or they want to look so cute for their daughter's wedding, but they do have a cough, but they're not telling anybody. So they come in anyway. And so they cough, they touch the chair, they touch you, they touch your smock, something, air kiss you, which air kissing is really a bad sound right now. Like keep your air away from me. But now uh, we have to watch out because we can't let that happen. If you think your customer is at all sicky, send them home. You got to do that. Number one. And number two is what about masks? Do we wear masks? I wear masks and it's made by a company called I can breathe.com. I like it very much because it has the coconut filter, which is popular. And I don't mean it's safe, 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 but it is very popular keeping things in and out, but it is, it is not as fail safe, but I do like to wear it when I'm shampooing a client. And I do like to wear it when I'm doing clients hair now. Health care professionals tell me, don't talk. The, the iCanBreathe.com mask goes around this way. I shouldn't talk because when I talk, it blows out my air onto the sides. Of course, it is to the sides, but the loose ones go right into front of you. That's not good. That's for sure not good. 